What is going on guys, this is your host AZ and today I've got some exciting news about the RX480 graphics card. Over at the 3D Mark database, there is a new result that shows that the new GPU, which is unnamed at this point, is getting a score of 14,461 points with an Intel Core i7 7 t and it's just below the 18,481 points of the 4K gaming PC. It's close to a 4K gaming PC. That's what AMD told that this GPU is close to a 4K gaming PC and is a premium VR graphic card. Looking at more specs of the graphics card that 3D Mark gives us the result of shows that the GPU is named as generic VGA, it's from vendor AMD Advanced Micro Devices, its number of cards 1, SLI slash crossfire off, memory is 8GB, so this GPU result is of 8GB model, its core clock is 1266 which AMD actually showed the image that actually came from the Computex this year. It also showed that the GPU has 1266 MHz of core clock, so that's also a confirmation. Memory bus clock is 2000 MHz, driver version 16.200, and driver status is not FM approved. Processor Intel i7-4770, that's what I told, it's at 3.4 GHz and 3.7 GHz turbo, physical cores, logical cores. So yeah guys, this PC is getting a score of 14,461 as this GPU score. And if we compare these results to the GTX 980, which AMD chose to be competing against with this new graphics card, we see that the 980 has fire strike score of about 13,000 to 15,000 average. So this card comes right neck to neck with 980 GPU which is round about $500 or you can say $400 on Amazon and these selling websites. So $200 for this new graphics card is pretty amazing and a really really competitive price point that AMD has chosen for this GPU. Now one thing to see here is that how is, how is AMD getting any profit from this graphics card? Because at this price point of $200, it's a really good value for the gamers. But if it's not a really good value for AMD, how is this just charging this $200 for this GPU? Answer to this question that how is AMD making any profit, we can see that the FinFET architecture 14 nanometer is here. And with the shrinking nodes, we get silicon die that is smaller than its predecessor, that is 28 nanometer. So, with the shrinking die, we get a smaller manufacturing price. So AMD is paying lesser to get a lesser priced graphics card. One of the statements that AMD made at the Computex this year was that it's going to be a GPU for the premium VR at a $200 price point and it's going to be revolutionizing VR in a good way. So to prove this point, we have to look back, back in time, when the GTX 980 and the 9970 launched. Those graphics cards were actually priced at 380 for the 970, 380 dollars for the 970 and above 500 for the GTX 980. And those were the only options which we could choose to actually get a premium VR experience. Right now the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift are priced at above 600 dollars or so. Those two headsets are the necessity to actually get the premium VR experience in homes. Now AMD pricing the graphics cards at $200 and HTC Vive which is going to be at $600 or so, we're going to be getting an $800 experience, premium VR experience which was not possible before. We saw that we could only get the premium VR experience when we got a $500 or $400 graphics card a year back and now we can get it for $800. That is amazing considering that AMD is going to be making the VR experience coming at mainstream market. It was only available previously for the high-end market and now AMD is revolutionizing that with this new RX480 graphics card. So this was my analysis for this GPU guys. It's going to be a pretty good GPU for the VR, revolutionizing the VR and it's going to be an amazing GPU for some mainstream gamers because we are going to be getting an amazing boost in performance in our games at 1080p and at 1440p too. So yeah guys, I'm going to be going out now. You leave a like on this video if you like this and dislike if you don't and tell me in the comment section below why you like this video. What do you think about this graphics card? Why you dislike this video because that will help me improve my videos in the future. So yeah guys, I'm going to be going out now. Peace.